So welcome to a wet and fairly windy, although it's nice and peaceful at the second day on the Gold Coast. We're on the floodplain. And here on the floodplain is a magnificent example, quite a unique example of Grevillea robusta silky oak. And this is what I would describe as the closest thing I've come to in silky oaks as an ancient tree. It's lovely. Canopy, recent major limb breakout. That's this thing on the ground. But that's not what's interesting in this tree so much as what's happening in the stem. What we've got here is reiterative growth of the stem. So a bit closer look. So we have a 4.5 meter girth on this tree and in the center we have a 900 mil diameter hollow and the hollow extends all the way up right through to the top of the tree. It's a very short tree, it's very short for a Grevillea robusta, it's very squat and it has reiterative growth. So it has separating columns in the stem. These columns extend all the way up, joining up with limbs above in the foreshortened canopy. Magnificent and unusual, not common to see this in silky oak, not common at all. Why is it not common? Well, because frankly the trees were cut down before they got to anywhere near this age wood was used to build houses, parts of houses, windows, door frames. It's very popular wood, very soft, very easy to work. Look at those columns. Beautiful. There's actually, there's actually a much younger silky oak Let's have a look at that, that's gorgeous, body language. There's a much younger silky oak, not very far away, just over there. Lovely, classic form, upright, slight co-dominance and you can see the big limb running off to the left as we look at it. And over on the other side, ooh, seasickness, ooh. Over on the other side, of course another silky oak, again much younger, but well veteranised, some storm damage some breakage in it, but neither of them have the characteristics of this tree. This is really quite unique for me. I've not come across any silky oaks that have this kind of expression of age.